calling you. Hello. Hello. Um. Hey, so yeah. Um, Politics VTuber you, Chud Logic like, decides to fucking drag his ass in here and start a fight with me on my video game night. I see. Look, listen, I've heard I've heard things about you. I've heard you savage people. Is this is this true? This is true. I am a savage. I destroy people when I get the opportunity. Um many many people have cried after debating with me because they were so they were so uh, stunned and shocked that such an intellect could even exist that it literally made them piss their pants and um, revoke their faith in God. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, to, to be honest, like, I don't really have anything like to, to debate with you directly. Oh, that's fine. It's all good. Um, but, but I did want to actually listen. I do <laughs> want to say thank you for something, okay? Sure. Publicly, so that everyone can hear this, but uh, you've made me realize what I've been missing, okay? Because you were one of the voices of my chat that was telling me, hey, get Dario and Vivian on. Yeah! Let's have some fucking blood. Like the old days, okay? Like the old and I was days. like, yeah, like, I don't know. I did it today. I was like, fuck, I've not done this for ages. Just getting people on to have, fucking have it out. And I actually really fucking enjoyed it. And yeah. I think the audience enjoyed it too. Yeah, that was fun. Fun, isn't it? Yeah. And, it is uh, fun. Oh, Joanna, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. How dare he ruin a video? You ruined a video game night. You hear that, Chud? You ruined everything. <laughs> oh, no. You ruined Sorry. everything. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I got to grab. Let me grab a time code real quick here. Uh, 4, 23, uh, 54, 54. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, I, I was very happy to uh, start some shit in your chat today. Because, um, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, it just felt like they were fucking t shooting at each other in a stupid mm. twi Twitch chat. And why do that when you could just talk it out on air and everybody gets to have fun with it? It's still happening in public anyway. It's just easier to communicate and it generates views. Why not? It's a win, 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 win. The only lose is... Spoon with a spoon. I don't think anyone really. So... Uh, I mean, I, okay. I, actually, I think... Okay, there are there are some losers involved. Okay. And that's people in my audience that don't like blood sports type stuff. But, you know... I who guess Who watches any day. of our shows and doesn't... Like, there's lots of people who deny. They they will do this thing. They go, oh, the blood sports. It's 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 too much. It's too rich for my blood. And then th that type of person, you know, the posh people who come in and like, no, I'm, I'm above it. But then they then the moment the blood sports start happening, they might not show their face in chat, but they're sitting there eating popcorn just like everyone else. Yeah, I no, that's it. so L true. Like, like, again, like, uh, I've always said this. I've always said, like... Uh, we're a long, long way away from actual blood sports. What we call blood sports is baby shit in comparison mm. to what was actual blood sports, you know? Like, go Wait, back what, and... What you... Okay, so I was just going to say, what, what do you think blood sports is really then? Like, oh. kicking each other. Uh, like, if you have you ever watched, uh, like, old Worski panels? Andy oh, Worski yeah, stuff? I get you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They had, they, they had no whole spot, though. Yeah. They could say whatever they fucking wanted, yeah. right? Like we've oh, they'll got, call each other got... racial slurs. They'll dox each other on stream. That's blood sports. What we call blood sports yeah. is like, it's like the most refined, clean version of blood sports. Like the worst thing that'll ever happen is two people get real mad at each other and not talk. They'll block each other on Twitter for two weeks and then get over it five minutes later. It's, you know, it's not, the yeah. stakes are pretty low. And I think it can be much more fun to hash these things out. I listened for, to fucking both those conversations. Well, I think the second one was, well, the second one was really funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that Kobe Bobby, Kobe Bobby was doing the, uh, was doing the old, he had the old DGG squeaker going on. <laughs> oh, look, I'm you not think, listening. I'm you, not going <laughs> to. You think, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. I will, though. You, you think, you think you're going to use, you're not going to use pure rationality? That was funny to me. I'm sorry. Look, I'm a diplomat at the head of an important drama desk I in know. the Twitch sphere, okay? So I must not comment further on that. But, um, you know, I mean, look, I think that, that Kobe, um, I think there was a bit of talking past each other in that conversation. Oh, right? of course. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I don't fucking know. I, to be honest, I don't even know where I fucking stand on this. It's been like a fucking blur to last today's Oh, on stream, the religion so thing? Like, yeah, I think I've got a few perspectives, but I'm like... All right. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me your Please, tell me your opinion me. first, and then I'll and then I'll tell you mine. Okay, okay. So, I, I don't know I mean, mine I, yet because um because uh 
you know, my favorite streamer, uh, Chud Logic, hasn't done a video. So I need you to do a quick video on it real quick so I can... <laughs> okay, look, my perspective is this. And, and to be honest, my position has changed from the start, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm an atheist, okay? I don't really like calling myself that because I think it's become like a cultivated identity for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't believe in God. And that's cool. If you want to believe in God and practice, that's fine. I don't think any less of you for it. You know, I don't think you're like a delusional person who's going to believe in a cult or anything like that. Like, you believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. As long as you don't harm anyone with your beliefs, that's the key thing for me. And that's all I really care about in all this. That's fair. That's kind of it. Okay. Yeah, my position is um, basically, uh, I mean, I grew up in a cult, so I have a lot of critiques of religion. I had a pretty strong mm -hmm. atheist phase myself. Um, and it's been about 10 years since I, well, actually it's been about 12 years. Actually, no, it is a bit about 10 years since I properly left religion. Um, so I've had a lot of time to think about it and I've done, spent a lot of time thinking about that. My position is that, um, first of all, I think people, um, aren't super, super clear when they're talking about religion, um, with, as far as terminology goes. Um, which I think makes it hard to talk about it because some people mean one thing when they say religion, other people mean another thing. Um, but this, it's, you know, once you get into, once you get into the types of conversations that we're going on today, I feel like you have to be pretty specific with your terms. Otherwise, um, you will talk past each other, but in general, I don't necessarily have a um, problem with belief. Um, it is a fact and I don't care like who says otherwise because they're wrong um but it is a fact that uh that we do uh take some level of things on a certain level of faith and i don't mean like religious faith necessarily because i think religious faith is kind of a distinct concept um but we do there is a certain um gap where any person cannot possibly m you know maintain all the knowledge for all of their viewpoints at all times. And we have to go refresh ourselves on things. We have to go, you know, we trust experts, which we trust them because we assume that they've done the, the you know, the necessary research to be in that position. And there's some mistakes with that. Problems happen. I think, um, I think philosophy tubes video about, uh, you know, who's afraid of the experts is a really good example of this, of how like the idea of an expert can be hijacked and people can, have a rational trust in that expert um that is betrayed you know but the fact mm. of the matter is that there is unsurety in these things now um as a result i don't think that belief or faith are necessarily bad or like intrinsically bad things i think like a certain amount of our lives um are is like predicated on on some level of like we might not know the answer right now but we continue anyway um, I mean, I would say that like a lot of human life can be like that, right? We don't always know why we're still going. We just do. Um, and uh, however, I think the bigger problems are uh, traditionalism and dogma. Um, mm -hmm. and, and these types of things are, you know, what, what we see present in basically every problematic religion that you can think of. You pick a religion and... And, um, and y you got it. You, you, you pick a religion that's, that's fucking bad and you're going to find that they have a, uh, enforced, um, traditionalism and, enfor and a, and a, do a dogmatic set of beliefs, um, that's either going to be, it might be based on literal religious law, like in the case of the Catholic church. Oh, it looks like my site chat is uh, glitching right now. Uh, just refresh in a second, everybody Ch site chat will be back. Um, so, um, you know, you'll get people um, like there's the Catholic Church. They have like all these law books and that's how they justify their dogma. And then you have churches like mine, which are basically empowered personality cults where uh, highly charismatic individual leaders um, justify their beliefs with like by cherry picking spots out of a holy book that people put their faith in. Um, and. I don't think like the faith itself is necessarily the problem there. I think the problem is the structures around that faith that that weaponize that faith. And I think that 
a lot of people who are critiquing religion could do with learning a bit about indoctrination, about dogma, and about traditionalism. And this is where, like, a lot of my critique has turned from in recent days. Because I don't think that there's, like, anything inherently wrong with somebody, um, I don't know, concluding that maybe there's a god out there. Um, and even if they don't, I mean, I don't know, they might have in their mind, um, some evidence for it. Um, and I might not agree with that evidence. We might be able to argue back and forth on that evidence. But again, the fact of the matter is that at any given point, if you pluck any single person, no person is going to have their head full of all rational thoughts all the time, as much as we would like to, as much as that would be helpful. There's all kinds of things that we actively believe in, whether it's policy that we're not actually a hundred percent sure about, um, but that we think, you know, we have a good, we have good reason to believe it. Well, some people have some, you know, reasonably good reasons to believe in God. Um, and okay, that's fine. Um, what I care about is once you start structuring that into a dogma that impresses, that impresses those laws on other people and you start building a tra traditionalistic worldview, which is, um, in my opinion, traditionalism is inherently, um, anti, it, it's anti-intellectual. It, it, uh, traditionalism basically says we have to keep doing things the way that we've done them because those things worked in the past and that kills innovation it kills um, iteration it kills human advancement and so I think that that like traditionalism is just bad like just outright really bad um, and same thing goes for dogmatic dogmatic belief which is just you know sort of unflagging um, adherence to um, presupposed religious principles. And that's my position. So yeah, I do have a lot of problems with a lot of religions. I have a lot of problems with um, organized religion, but I just don't really think it's helpful or productive or accurate to like say that like religion is inherently, um, you know, flaw, uh, evil or bad or something like that. And I think that a lot of people who do the whole like, ah, uh, yes, all of my views are rationally uh, justified. They're, they're lying. They're just lying. It's the same type of thing as like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of positions that are like that. I just, I, I immediately think of like the philosopher, a philosopher king who, you know, thinks their shit doesn't stink sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. So, so, cause, cause yeah, I think the thing for me is like, <clears throat> I think, cause obviously Darius said it's like a nuclear take, but it was like worded in a provocatively way. Like you said, believing in superstition in one place makes you infinitely more likely to believe in other places. And it's like, like, I know maybe that wasn't his intent, but it does come across that you're basically making out like religious people are these delusional idiots wandering, bumbling about the place and, oh, QAnon, oh, I believe in that now. And it's like, it doesn't really seem to reflect like reality. Like there's probably some evidence that that might be the case, but this idea like it's this broad issue seems a bit far-fetched to me. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, in, in my sort of atheistic phase, I, I saw uh, religion as like very emblematic of uh like the re the reactionary um ways that are that like the united states especially and many places in the world were like uh like enthralled by this reactionary thing but then the atheist community turned into a bunch of reactionary idiots as well so you know that alone seems to me to be a pretty practical proof that like um like religion isn't the only thing that actually impact, you know, like religion isn't the thing. It isn't the silver bullet to reactionary, hateful, discriminatory thought, you know? And I think there are, I think it's better to look at like the structures that back up those things as opposed to just like <clears throat> spiritual or religious beliefs. I know some people will go so far as to say like, uh, like superstition, um, and I don't know, that always feels like the, the term superstition seems like a bit of a vague term to me, um, because I don't really know what you mean by that. Like, do you mean any, a, again, any belief that's not like 100% grounded in rational thought? Well, that's a lot of things, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff that we don't know that we take on essentially faith, whether it's social or otherwise, in the same way that religious people come to those conclusions um yeah well thanks good faith actor i appreciate that i mean i just i don't know i i again like this doesn't stop me from fucking roasting the shit out of fundamentalists who i encounter people who've done great harm to me throughout my life my family's super fundamentalist i just i don't know 
like I, I do see that i do recognize there's like a lot of fundamentalist like hyper christian right-wingers in america but there's also a, a bunch of like weird trump cultists who aren't super super religious and religion isn't like the biggest part of their life they just kind of like ease right into a personality cult that operates on an invocation of dogma and an invocation of traditionalism that like oh donald trump is gonna bring back the good old way that it's supposed to be the way we used to do things and they go yeah we got to get back to the way we used to do things um and i don't know to me that's like oh well that's the same thing the christians do they just flavor it differently maybe we should be worried about that thing instead of like this very vague concept of religion and uh i'm not religious either i'm an atheist i am you know, I have a lot of arguments I could make against the existence of God and why I would say I don't think we have evidence to, you know, to substantiate a God and that the idea of like a of a God in any traditional sense, excuse me, is, um, you know, a tough thing to try and argue for. But I don't know. I guess I just I don't know. I don't see I don't see the uh, <laughs> position of like all forms of spiritual or religious beliefs are inherently flawed, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, definitely, and um, like, like I say, like the the idea, it seems to me that Darry's argument hinges on this idea that just because you you have this um, belief, it's going to naturally preclude you to go onto this belief, and I just I don't know, maybe there is some data on it that really proves this fact, but like, oh god, it just seems like too provocative for Twitter to be honest, and I know he well, precursed it content warning with a fucking nuclear take but you're always gonna fucking get spicy Although saying nuclear wet, take wet. is literally i'm <clears throat> about to make you mad so get ready you know what I mean? it's literally it's the it's yeah. the way of saying i'm about to stir drama i mean it is it's literally just being like a oh, nuclear take i'm gonna blow your mind with this take you're gonna get really <laughs> mad at this it's like the nuclear take thing is just like i don't know I mean, I, I, I was kind of surprised that, like, Dario was so reluctant to come on because, like, I don't know, sometimes it feels like he's still got still got the old the old drama stirrer flame going. But uh, not yeah, so much. Well, I, I mean, guess he's moved on a little bit, which is, hey, you know what? Maybe. Maybe that's for the better. Still yeah, fun I mean, to see I, today, I, though. Yeah, I guess the thing is, is I, I don't, like, you know, I don't want to put any pressure on anyone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, to like come on but but then like when when viv said that she would come on i was like fuck come on darry you gotta come on like come on it's from my viewers you know and he's yeah, like yeah, yeah okay, I'll come on um <clears throat> but yeah i did feel kind of bad afterwards because the conversation went kind of so badly between them and um i think the issue for, for dario is there's some previous conversations that have happened with viv um i think on a relevance channel i can't remember the details of it oh. but in any case i think it caused this rift between them and that has continued to go on you know yeah. and obviously that was i mean today, you know, so. the, there's been a lot of shakes up shakeups in the uh the whole twitch politics scene you know uh you know the demon left left for youtube <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but uh oh no, i love it but i mean <laughs> But, I mean, there has been, like, yep. you know, like, hell, like, fuck, I was just blowing the fuck out of Mel on here a couple seconds ago. So, um, but, you know, wait, wait, some okay. of it's, so, it's, what's that? I was, I was just going to say, like, sorry, I want to speak about this Mel thing, but I just want to speak to your point of, like, things have changed. And it's like, you know, I've not been on a panel for probably since September yeah. last year. Um, and I went, obviously, on one last night, and it's like, fuck. Like, you know, there's some righties here that aren't totally unhinged. Like, um, I, I think you've had some, like, maybe beef with this guy, but, like, counterpoints, like, made some pretty reasonable points that weren't, like, fucking, like, mm. you know, far-right fucking ridiculous takes. So, you know, that was that was quite cool. I can tell you the um, story with counterpoints. Uh, counterpoints yeah, yeah, and I have... Uh, okay, so there was this period of time where every single time I appeared on a panel, counterpoints would just blow his lid Im immediately. Like, he would just fucking lose right. it. And I don't know why. I, I guess just something about me drove him nuts. And then he wrote... He did this video, um, and it was... I, and I responded to it, and I was like, all right, I had enough of this. I'm just going to respond to the video. And I, I fucking took him to town. I was basically oh, like, dude, yeah, who the fuck are you to be yeah. telling me what I should do with my channel? Like, all that kind of shit. And then he actually took the video down. And that was pretty cool. 
So I kept, I mean, obviously like I published my response and like I put a disclaimer that he took the video down, which is cool. Um, but he, to be fair, he fired first. So, um, but yeah, like we've, we've, you know, I think he's, I think like, I don't know what it was. I think there was just something like, I mean, I don't fucking, I didn't have a prop like that big of a problem with him. I mean, like. Uh, I don't think I said anything more harsh than what anybody else ever said to him, but he would get so mad. He would lose it. And, uh, but now he's calmed down in the last two panels. We've been kind of more on the same side, not exactly the same, but we've been a lot more agreeable, which has been, um, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I think, I think he has, I mean, I think he's way when, okay. When he doesn't lose his shit, when he doesn't get that mad, like he used to, he's super more reasonable and way more able to be talked to than somebody like fucking lecture fan or yeah. the other, like uh, the other, uh, those who shall not be named because they're literally so irrelevant. I don't even want to fucking give them a speck of attention, but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, no, that's the feeling that I've got. And, um, you know, I, I was thinking about this and I was like, you know, you do like, listen, I know we love fucking memeing on centrists and whatever and fucking center right, center left. But I do genuinely think like you need those voices in discourse because at the end of the day, let's say someone is a full blown MAGA hat wearing capital building storming type person. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you know, I think that they're more likely to listen to someone like, say, say counterpoints, who's like ex-police, ex-marine. Than he is to like, than they are to like listen to someone like us. So just having that voice in the discourse, yeah. I think probably is going to be have some good good overall. You know, even if they're not necessarily going to become like fucking as left as as we are. Say, you know, I don't know. I think that's that's kind of valuable. Yeah, and, I um, mean, I I've, I've always said. I mean, the reason why I've always participated in basically every lefty run panel show that exists, with one exception, I think. Um, is because I do think there's value in like right versus left discussions uh, as long as they're moderated. And uh, I also think that there's value in um, like, I think there's value in like, uh, I don't know, promoting. I don't know if necessarily promoting, but being willing to have conversations with slightly more rational right wingers. Um, I mean, I had a yeah. great conversation with Endernax, even though Endernax and I, I mean, I feel like, again, I mean, Endernax like attacked my weight in the first fucking panel I was ever on with him. So, you yeah. know, uh, again, like I have no illusions about who's being, who's taking the high road in these conversations. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like I've had to overlook a lot of fucking bullshit. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, I'd rather, fu I'd rather have a fucking Endernax or a counterpoints um then a, a lecture fan or or a fucking ctv or or a redneck or whatever whoever else or 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 fuentes or something like that yeah. um yeah no absolutely i agree with you and and you know ctv like oh my god he's stuck that's the first time last night i've actually spoken to him on a, like a show and whatever and it's fucking fucking painful right but you know the thing is it's like he's obviously he's, bl a bit his, he's blasted and... every single time he's on a panel i'm not <laughs> but then people love that right so like he, the conservatives are like they're backing him like oh ctv we've got about this guy everyone else is laughing at him and he becomes this like incredible guest to have on shows yeah um, i mean i think he's funny that's the thing I, I as far as ctv goes i think he's funny as fuck to have on a show i wouldn't say the same about some of the other people like redneck i think is just horrible i i think that guy's like genuinely not okay um but yeah sure yeah. Uh, um yeah one other thing i wanted to ask you as sure. well um like when you because you've obviously gone these panels way more than i particularly recently like what do you, what preparation do you do for them in terms of research um i well it depends on the on the panel and the topics um mm. but usually i mean this last one that i was on with um trihex and hutch which is awesome mm. fucking trihex follows me on twitter now oh yeah no, fuck, I that. That the was, fucking that was legend yeah. himself the most used emote on twitch <laughs> I was, was like really cool. starstruck. I had, to, I, it took, oh my God. I had to fucking keep my cool so hard. I was like, I can't believe I'm fucking sitting in a fucking call with Trihex right now. Holy shit. Like, geez, like seriously, legend, you know? Oh my God. Anyway, but uh, yeah, th but for that one, I actually did quite a lot of prep. Um, and that was because the like trans sports thing was going to come up. So I had mm. like a, I did a call with, um, with riley and we went over mm -hmm. i went over riley's like research documents because I, I was asked if because she, she's been doing a um 
she's been doing like a re she did a research stream like literally the day of on some new papers that came out and i had already read the paper so i mean i did a pretty good amount of research for that and then on monday i uh tapped in one of my researchers um well my only researcher uh silent who um i will if ever i'm like pinched for time like i'll be like hey son you want to help me research this and then we'll sit down and have like an hour and a half or two hour phone call or something and usually we'll get together we'll like both be going through and trying to find sources we'll put them all together into one document and then i'll review the document and pull out like um valuable notes and statistics and things like that um yeah so uh that's usually what I do. I usually will do that. Now, for one-on-ones, if I'm doing like a one-on-one -on -one like I did with Redneck, well, okay, I didn't prep at all for the Redneck conversation because that was a joke. Um, but for the one with um, Rob Knorr, I did like four hours of research for that. And I had a whole document, which is available on my Google Drive, um, about an Antifa. And now, now that one, I feel like I, I still feel so proud of that that debate because I basically was like, all right, this is going to be my opportunity to teach a lot of people about the actual facts about anti-fascism as a as a movement and the various groups that have existed throughout history why they've existed and why basically everything the right says about them is just totally full of shit so yeah um but some panels i don't really do that much like if it's like uh if it's like a mostly um oh yeah totally nabira redneck not only did that but redneck had like a public argument with dylan burns about my penis which was fucking weird um yeah needless to say i think that guy's a fucking piece of shit but whatever um yeah uh but oh, what the fuck is i gonna say yeah so i don't know it varies like if it's like mostly an opinions thing like where it's like really 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 abstract like oh do you think donald trump is a fascist or whatever then i won't do all that much research um because i pretty much know those arguments but if it's something that i feel like stats are going to be helpful on like the police conversation that we had on monday um that was the one i was on with vosh on prime kai's i did a lot of research for that one and had some help uh like i had silent help me with that because like uh, i didn't have enough time to do like four hours of research but with two of us working on it we could get it down in no time so and also we produce a document that other people can use in the future yeah, no, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, the document thing's really cool. Do, do, you, do you find that, like, there's an issue where, like, you'll go on panel and, and you'll be speaking with someone and trying to talk about it, and it's clear they've not even, like, looked up the basic definition of the topic you're discussing All or the something time. like that? All the time. Right, okay. Yep. Um, in fact, <laughs> I was kind of floored on Friday that there was some of that going on. Like, actually, quite a bit of that going on. I always expect it from the right, um, but... Uh, but I don't really, I expect the left to do better, but sometimes it doesn't happen. So, uh, the one thing I can never believe, the one thing that always makes my jaw drop is when somebody gets their turn on a panel and goes, oh, this isn't really my specialty. So I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> yes, yeah, I am like... that person who over prepares for tests. Yes, I know. But, but yeah, it's like, you know, you've come on a panel, like, you knew what the topics were. So why did you agree to the panel? Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe for like one topic, maybe, but fuck me. Like, why don't, we, why don't read about it? Like, you know, I had to discuss hate crime and obviously I knew the US was going to come up. I didn't fucking know anything about it really, like to detail. So yeah. I went and looked at it. And the thing is, it takes like what, an hour and you can get a passable knowledge to discuss oh, it totally. for an hour. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you need to go and fucking do a fucking PhD in it, whatever, right? Yeah, just fucking put on some music, put on a stream. Uh, you know, for me, I'll literally put on a stream and then I'll open up a document. I have two monitors, so I put a stream up on one side. I put a website like a Wikipedia or whatever articles I'm reading up on the other screen, half and half with my uh, notepad open. I just take as many notes, do, 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 get it all down. And it makes you do way better because you don't have to worry about like not having a stat on hand. And it's like, you can just totally womp the conversation. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I'm interested to see where the panel and debate scene goes. I am actually, uh, I don't think I'm on any panels anytime soon, but I am doing an AMA on the politics discord soon. So that'll be interesting. Ooh, yeah. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah, my God, I'm sure I'm going to so get good. some of those fucking, I'll have to, <laughs> I'm going to break out the, I'm going to make sure that I slip in your, your classic from your AMA. <laughs> Yes, do it. Do you, do you enjoy you uh, just smashing your balls into a fine paste between two <laughs> two large books or whatever? It was. He's slamming your slamming your balls into an industrial vice and creaming them up or whatever he said. 
uh, you know, uh, obviously, like, uh, you know, I thought that was really funny to do and stuff. I do think there's something in that, though, because the thing is, if you get into, like, an argument about race realism with the Nazis, it's just a fucking rabbit hole. They'll pull mm-hmm. you down and you'll end yeah. up fucking... I don't know. I just I just would rather just fucking mock them. I just think that's a Yeah, that's the gish gallop. Like, you just have to go for the heart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like, their ideas are just so ridiculous. Like, I don't know. Seems seems a bit silly to take them super seriously, but I don't know. Yeah, I think most of the time that's true. I think there's a, there's a time and a place where you can, like... Um, like, I think, uh, I think Vosh's debate with, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, JF, Gary Eppi, mm. and Dario's mm-hmm. for that matter. Dario's debate with yeah. JF, um, were both good examples of where they were able to like, uh, because it was in a little bit of a structured situation, they were able to, um, like really address those points and shut them all down. And it serves as like a, a, a spot where you can get all the info about a topic and it can kind of inoculate people to future, um, future, uh, exposure to that type of those talking points, because, you know, people will already know the facts and know that that's not true. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. So cool. Okay. Well, um, listen, listen, I need to get to bed anyway. Oh, you gotta go to bed. All right. Um, you're you gaming but thanks for yeah. thanks for having me on thanks for chatting to me yeah and, no problem um, it was great talking with you and don't forget now you know my stream is fairly open to like if there's some beef going on or some drama you know yeah. i'm happy to have it hashed out on my stream going forward so if, if you want me to facilitate that just you know you know sure, okay? maybe i'll maybe i'll stir up some some trouble um yeah, i'll okay, make good cool. trouble as they say um sounds good but yeah no i mean i don't have uh, like these days i don't even know like like my my the last beef that i've had was like fucking atomic you know what i mean mm. like the fucking destiny shit and uh yeah i don't know i don't know what's happening with with that fucking world but yeah i mean i, I mean i did I, I guess i did have a little bit of drama with mel but uh oh sorry really yeah me. before we go what was this mel thing sorry before oh i, I don't know mel was just being a shithead on on twitter and then caught a block from merrick for it after shit talking Merrick and then got like all up in arms about it. And then I said like, what the fuck do you expect? Like you were being an asshole on your timeline to Merrick. Like why would, why wouldn't you expect to be blocked for that? And then, uh, and then, (laughs) and then she was just like, Oh, look at this. It's all, it's all white femmes who are, who are allying together against me. And it's like, no you were just being an asshole just fucking own up to it you were being a complete uncalled for dick out of nowhere you randomly screenshotted some random interaction between merrick and natalie uh contra points like completely random and then posted like a thing that was like pain i'm like oh i'm so fucking mad they're interacting with each other which weird as shit and then a fuckload of the same people who were always looking for an excuse to go fucking scream at merrick started doing so because they all follow you and it's like what do you expect and then merrick was like hey this is kind of shitty we i thought we had like settled things and then and then mel just weasels out of it and then so merrick's like now nah, fuck this i'm done with it and i'm like so i just told her i'm like listen that was fucking toxic and then she blew up on me about how i like you never defend me against anybody i'm like against who and she's like well uh gammy goes after me all the time i go and look at this account 400 followers i'm like mel you have like 14 times their fucking followers what do you want me to do about that i'm not gonna fucking defend you against some random person you pissed off like what the fuck yeah i mean you know now she's going on bosh because she's fucking uh i don't know she's like accusing vosh of spreading misinfo about her because apparently she likes to i mean i literally just showed it on my stream like she's like i never attacked merrick at all in fact it was me who was attacked and i'm just like why do you do this why do you do this shit i don't under i don't understand it it's it's toxic (laughs) she's going on vosh's stream now is this because i think vosh referenced her recently right and said i thought no yeah someone someone sent a message to vosh that was like did you see mel going after merrick and then vosh was like yeah it's fucking bullshit i don't know why she would join in on that i always and then vosh was like i thought mel was kind of cool but the more i hear about her it's like it seems like she kind of gets into the same toxic bullshit that all these tanky people do and that was it that was just like an off thing and then and then Mel made a huge tweet about it with a clip of the thing and accusing him of misinfo and all this shit. And it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ, you know? Yeah. I don't know. And her showing on Dylan Burns was just embarrassing. That debate was embarrassing. 
but I've not actually watched that. Though. This is okay. This is the thing, right? I'm sure you experience this too, right? There's like so much content out there. Like there's little things here and there that I probably should watch to some degree that pass me by, and I'm just like, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll listen. I'll go and check that out. I mean, I, I, in terms of that thing, I just think it, it seems like there's there's a lot of personal issues that are circulating on Twitter at the moment between people. Some people. And it would be helpful. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I was going to say, it would be helpful if, 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 like, I don't know, we could have a big, friendly conversation and sort all this out. Like, you know, if there's friction between people on these things that say work, you try and deal with it and you try and sort it out. But online, we just sort of let these things fester and everyone hates each other. And it's just like, oh, why can't we just well, all get along? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes it is, uh, it is that sort of thing. It is just like uh, people squabbling and not being willing to take it out and talk about it elsewhere. But other times it kind of is a little bit one one way because uh like fucking four months ago i had a whole private conversation with mel about this whole thing because i had a conversation with merrick because i did a whole drama mama on the merrick thing you know i did more mm. than that i had i had merrick on i went through all the details of it i had all the receipts and everything fuck i did my fucking homework on that shit and i'm like this is bullshit like, this is just sheer, this is just abuse. This is just abusive. Like, it's a fucking thousand people who don't know this person bombarding them, acute, like, trying to get them fucking swatted. Like, it's just horrible. And so I was like, and then, like, Mel started participating in that. I'm like, why would you fucking, and I, I you know, because me and Mel were, were previously on pretty good talking terms. I was just like, why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck would you join in on that? That's so shit. And, like... She like freaked out on me and then I'm like, listen, I just feel like you're being fucking toxic about this thing. And then it just keeps happening again and again. And I'm like, I'm not fucking going to do that. You know, I try to, to solve things behind closed doors when it's appropriate, but sometimes you can't. Some people just aren't interested in doing that. Some people just don't have a healthy relationship with Twitter. And yeah, I, th I think Mel's one of those people, you know, I think there's a couple of people in this space who are like that, but I also feel like, um, I don't know. This this oh, field, I mean, this fucking job is being a streamer is fucking hard enough without making it harder than it needs to be, you know. And some people don't realize that. And I don't know. Like I said to you, some long time ago, I think we were playing Apex, and I said, you know, I'm interested in building shit. That's what I'm interested in. Mm. I'm interested in making shit. I want to make a show. I want to make good content. I want to keep my imps entertained. I want to come to your stream and 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 cause trouble and like for fun, for a good reason. You know what I mean? Not to like make you mad. I want us to have a good time and us to thrive together. You know what I mean? And some people just don't care about that. Some people are just, just want to fight. And it's like, okay, fine. You know what? You want to fight? Let's fucking fight then. Or don't. One of the two. There you go. Pick your pick your side. You know, fuck <laughs> off or fight me already. Okay. No, no. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know. I look. I don't know enough about this. Um, this, like I've seen some tweets and I've seen backwards and forwards. Like you know, Mel, Mel is, I still consider Mel my friend, and it's just yeah, like oh, I just, I just, I just want people to get along, and I just hope that like no one is hurt and no one is harmed, and everyone's safe and happy. And yeah. I mean, I it's know. just like Mel. Mel had a falling out with Cynthia the other day. And yeah. it's just like, again, like, I don't know. It, it's one of those things where uh, you can only do so much. You know, when somebody's like just fucking burning every bridge they got, uh, it's it's one of those times where it's like, it's probably something in your life and there's nothing I can do from a distance over fucking Twitter, you know? And if, especially if somebody puts up walls or whatever, you know, which some people do. So, yeah. Okay. Well, look, on that note, I'll, um, I'll leave you to your gaming stream. Thank you very much for having me on. Thanks yeah, for the chat. Absolutely. And likewise, and, uh, and uh, I'm sure we'll ta talk again very soon. Yes, we'll speak soon. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye. Good night. Hey, that was good. That was a fun convo.